So what we did starting in 1974 was to create uh, microparticles and nanoparticles and the principles behind them that would enable you to deliver, literally encapsulate and deliver any large molecule, including uh, nucleic acids, which DNA and messenger RNA are. Before that, people didn't think that was possible. And even actually after we published it and I presented on it, uh, lots of people told me it was wrong and, and didn't believe it. In fact, the first nine grants I wrote were rejected. I couldn't get a job in a chemical engineering department, which is my discipline. And when I finally did get a job in a nutrition department, many of the faculty told me I should leave. But over the years, our lab and actually many, many other labs and many companies and you know, many great scientists would uh, you know, take this and improve upon it in many different ways with different materials. And today what you can do is take uh, nanoparticles made, made of lipids and other materials and you can put messenger RNA in them. And it's absolutely critical that you put the messenger RNA, which is used to make the vaccine, in the nanoparticles because if you injected it directly, it would just get destroyed. So this pr protects it. You put it in these little particles and it protects it uh, when you inject it into the body and allows it to survive and then uh, work in the body. So if you gave a drug directly uh, and injected it into the body, a lot of, especially a large molecule, it would get destroyed. Also, what, what the, the, the pattern of the drug coming out might all this, it might just dump out all at once, which might be toxic in many cases. So what the, what the little particles do are many things. First, it protects the drug from being destroyed. Secondly, uh, if you have the right design principles, you can actually uh, deliver it at the right rate, and in some cases, even to the right place in the body. So it really enables uh, you know, very precise uh, drug delivery of whether it's messenger RNA or many, many other uh, macromolecules and many other drugs. So we, we started doing this work back in 1974. Uh, and then lots of people would continue to build on it and many companies have been developing things and some I've even been involved in helping advise or get started. And, and today, you know, microparticle or nanoparticle drug delivery is used in treating various cancers, mental health diseases such as uh, schizophrenia, um, op and, and also treating opioid addiction. It's also used in treating type 2 diabetes in preventing bleeding and different eye diseases for relieving pain, uh, heart disease and, and, and cancer. So many, many different things it's being used to treat. Well, some of the things we hope to see, you know, messenger RNA being used to treat or nanoparticles or microparticle that could deliver them uh, combined treating our rare diseases like people having enzyme deficiency diseases, uh, also lung diseases like cystic fibrosis. Uh, Moderna is looking at the personalized, and I think BioNTech too are looking at personalized cancer vaccines. People are looking at uh, all different types of uh, infectious diseases and many, many different vaccines to treat uh, all kinds of different diseases, both now and in the future. Well, our lab, we have probably about 100 people in our MIT lab, and we're doing, one of the areas we're doing a lot of work with is the Gates Foundation uh, to try to develop medicines for the developing world. And so we're developing pills that you could swallow that could last a long time. We're developing new vaccine systems that hopefully you could just give one injection and it would have many, many boosts, like we, uh, Anna Jacqueline in our lab, uh, and her team, we basically give, give one injection and you can get up to 11 different boosts at, at whatever time you want. We're also working on uh, microneedle patches that you could put on the skin so that you could ship these little Band-Aid-like systems all over the world. 
Uh, we're also working on better ways of encapsulating things for nutrition um, and, and also creating new delivery systems for uh, various nucleic acids. Well, to me, this is just an incredible honor to, to win this prize, both given the incredible people who've received it in the past and the ones who I'm sharing uh, with it this, this year in 2022. It's, it's a tremendous honor for me, and I'm, I'm just you know, very, uh, very appreciative and very grateful. So thank you so much.